So, you are in self-improvement. You tell yourself that um, you're being better than most people. You tell yourself that um, oh, it's not that hard. You tell yourself that it's kind of um, it's rewarding. You tell yourself that <clears throat> all I have to do is just watch YouTube videos of people that's inspirational and just follow what they do and look at good habits and as easy as that. You read good books, um, you read self-help books, you think about it, and you try to copy it. You try to implement some habits. I wish it was that easy. Um, that's at least what I thought. I thought that was that easy. A year ago, I started to completely change my life. Um, completely change my life doesn't mean that it was easy or that um, I was living. Like, it definitely was a lot harder. Um, here, I'm losing myself. But what I'm trying to say is, it's not really, what I'm, what I'm trying to really say is, self-improvement doesn't mean shit. When you are trying to improve your quality of life and most importantly, your mental health and the way you think and the way you talk to yourself. Like all these things are important, but you have to realize that you cannot think that you're better than others. What I think when I first started it and in the middle of the year, so I've been so like after about five months or so, because I was sacrificing so much comfort, I felt like I was better than people that weren't sacrificing their comfort. Like it feels like I'm just like better than them or like like I'm on a pedestal and they're below me and I look down at them or something like that. Like it's just, that's not a very right mindset because because you're going to fall down eventually. Like it's not this perfect momentum where you always go up. It's always going to be up and down, up and down, up and down. And you've already heard about this cliche thing of how life is up and down. And it's the same thing with this kind of journey that you're doing. So it's not, so it doesn't mean shit. Like don't boost your own ego because you are doing so well or because you feel happier. Comparing yourself with others is the worst thing to do when you're on this journey. So it's been a year for me that I've fully committed myself to sacrifice comfort. I don't play video games. I was a crazy video game player. Not that I was, I don't know if I was so good at it, but I would, I realized that it was bad for me because I've noticed that I would play it when I feel bored. I used to think journaling was gay. Um, only I thought only girls do that shit. I don't need to write my mind. I don't need to write the thoughts that I'm having right now on the on the piece of paper. It's gay. It's not what I need to do. It's not what I have to do. Who does that? You don't need to contemplate. Reading books is for nerds. Like the ones that get bullied. That kind of nerd, not the good nerds. Oh, you're reading about how to communicate better with people? That is so gay, bro. You just talk. That's how easy it is. So these are the things that people would judge you of. And you just gotta ignore them. And because they tell you and you are still implementing everything that you're doing, and when you're and when you're able and after like a good amount of time you start to judge them back because they're still on the same path and you have completely changed the, tra the trajectory of your path and you think you're better than them. And that's not true. It doesn't mean shit. Self-improvement doesn't mean shit when you are judging people. What you want to do is judge yourself, your previous self.
So if there's one thing that I would, could say is what you want to do is be on this path and you obviously are feeling better. You are seeing the rewards. You are seeing the results. Your body looks better. Your mental health looks better. The way you talk to yourself looks better. You actually even seem more intellectual. All these things are important, but you don't want to compare yourself to others. So this morning I was jogging at a park and I met this guy named Jose and he was in his 40s. Instantly I was judging him. Judging him is obviously a very human thing to do. It's completely natural. But because he was so depressed and he was telling me all this shit about his life and I was just listening, I was judging him. And after I judged him, I've caught myself. I caught myself judging him so much that I changed it. And then I realized even further that, oh, all these, all this, oh, for this whole year, I've been basically judging people that are not sacrificing comfort. Self-improvement is your own thing. You don't want to compare it to people. And it doesn't mean shit that you are on this path. Because when you are doing it, you're going to have this amount of ego. And people, can, I feel like people can feel that shit, man. All right, this is what I used to do when I was in high school. <laughs> All right, so that's the message.